In this video, I'm going to show you how to make rollers drum and bass. This video took a long time to put together, so if you could smash that like button, it would mean a lot to me. Let's start with the drums. So first of all, I'm going to pick a BPM, and for this track, I'm picking 175 BPM. Now let's put it in bar mode and look at the first four bars of the drop for the drum. So we're going to start with a kick drum and we're just going to put it every bar at the start of every bar like that. And then what we're going to do is highlight them all and then hold shift and drag. And then we're going to put them on the third beat. So you should get something like this. And all we're going to do is move these already highlighted ones across a step to get that drum and bass rhythm. So your kick drum should sound like this for this type of rollers. So it's a really heavy hitting kick drum with some percussion elements underneath to give it even more transient. Now let's add a snare. Now this isn't going to be your typical snare and I'll show you why in a second. But all we're going to do is put it on the second and fourth beat throughout. Now let's listen to it. So you can hear it's not actually a snare, this is called a snap. So this is a snap sample. So when you do this with your fingers, I can't actually do it, so I can't make the sound, but I'm sure most of you can. It will make that snap noise, and that essentially is what this is, with just a crazy amount of distortion and maybe some other percussion elements layering it in the background to get you this sound. So feel free to try and make your own or I've got a few in my sample pack and there'll be plenty online as well. And then you should have something that sounds like this. So a quick tip for the mix down. So I love to put my kick drum between minus 15 and minus 12 on the kick group here, as you can see. And then I'll mix everything else quieter than the kick drum. So the kick drum is the loudest part of the drums and then everything else gets quieter. So typically, Kick drum loudest, snare, clap, second loudest, hi-hats, percussion, third loudest. And another great tip is to always put your kick drum, your clap, and your snare in mono. And you can do that by just turning this all the way to purple. And if you're on Ableton, you just use a utility and put that in mono. So now we need a hi-hat. And we're going to use two hi-hats for this. The first one is an open hi-hat. And we're just going to put it in between the first kick and snap here. And then we're going to put it on the third beat here and then we can just duplicate this across just like this so this should sound like this so you're already starting to get that groove and rhythm in your drums and then we can make it even better by adding a second hi-hat to fill in those gaps so there's one here and one here and we just can duplicate that throughout and this will give you something that sounds like this so once you've created this, you can literally just duplicate it across your whole track. And what I've done in this scenario is I've created these mini transitions every eight bars, as you can see here. And then I've got a bigger transition after 32 bars. And this is just a snare riser. So I'll play it for you so you can hear. Really, really simple, just high quality samples. So those are the drums. Really try and focus on sample selection. As you can see there, I've only used like five different samples, but they're all really high quality and they make the drums sound really good. Now let's look at the bass. There's a lot of basses on this. You can see on the left hand side how many there are. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the first bass and the third bass. And we'll go for it in Serum and then I'll show you the post processing. And if you want access to this complete project file, I've got an Ableton one as well. And all the Serum presets, this is available in my Chaos collection on my website. There's a link to the sample pack just in the description down below. This is one of my best sample packs yet. So let's go into the first bass. So it sounds like this on its own. So there's a lot going on. So let's analyze the Serum preset first. So as you can see, there is a sub bass on minus two. There's noise on the AC hum on organics. Then we've got oscillator A on analog basic CJW, oscillator B on analog 
basic mini and then we've changed the wavetable and we've got some fm from a coming in as well and then this lfo is shaped like this on a quarter on envelope and then we just drag this on seven different things so you can see one two three four five and then there's two in the effects as well which we'll get to but then the filter is on mg low 12 and then it's going through a b and the noise but not the sub and then we've got this on 23 hertz here and then this is attached to this all the way on 58 and it gets you that sound that comes out so if you watch it whilst i play it you see that coming out like that we've also got some stuff going on in the corner here but only on the compressor which i'll show you so let's have a look so let's have a look at the effects tab so we've got this on hyper here on the mix and then we've also got it a little bit on the distortion channel so we've got tube distortion and then it turn up to max and we've got the compressor on multiband and this is where you get like the grit of the sound so if i turn these off it sounds like a completely different sound and then i turn them back on you start to get that crazy sound i've also got an eq on boosting the lows and the highs and not really the mids i've got a phaser on that's not really doing much this is just like when i was experimenting with different ideas i got a chorus on just a little bit and a delay on just a little bit and a little bit of reverb and then we've got this combs filter in the misc here and this is where this filter is on it here and it just adds a little bit more to it than it would makes those frequencies come out a little bit more and this compressor is also on the level here the mix level to make it full but i think it would sound the same if it was like this or like this yeah so you can just put that to max it doesn't really matter too much it was just when i was experimenting with different ideas so feel free to copy the sound it's got plus one plus seven plus three as well so make sure to copy everything exactly and then the post processing on this one is really simple it's just an eq boosting at the bass a little bit and then an EQ cutting out the low end because we've got a fat sub here and if you want to learn how to make this sub I'll leave a link here for you to watch the video just goes through this sub it's a really great sub for drum and bass music and then the sub bass just cuts out the highs as you can see so let's look at the second bass that I want to show you which is this one a proper rollers fog horny style bass so again it's going to be following a similar pattern with just slightly different things on. So we've got oscillator A and oscillator B, and we don't have any sub or noise on this one. And again, we're using analog and we're using the basic MCB. And then on this one, we're using basic shapes. And this one is on minus two, and this one is on zero, but plus seven. And that gives it some really cool new frequencies. And then LFO1 is this longer sound because it's like a more drawn out fog horny style sound over a longer period of time as you can see compared to here and then this lfo is on four different things so we've got fm from b this time and it's on 27 percent here 32 percent here and then we've got it on the level here this level turned down to zero but we've got this bend on here so this is just a bend you can use here and it creates like cool different frequencies and then mg low 12 we've got it on the cutoff on 22 and 26 ish and we've got the drive turned up the fat turned up the res turned up to a bit and then if we have a look at the effects, we've also got this LFO on this EQ here. So I'll play it and you'll see it moving, which is pretty cool. And then we've just got sign shaper, compressor, EQ, and reverb. And the reverb is just being controlled down here. So I can make it more or less. It's just an easier way to control it. This is the crazy part. This is what the bass sounds like without any of the post-processing on. And then this is what it sounds like with all the post-processing. It's just bringing it up from okay to next level sound. And this is where your sound design is going to really like take it to the next level when you can figure out what plugins work perfectly on it as well as on Serum. But you don't always need these. As you can see on base one, I don't have any post-processing on it really. But for this one, it just was necessary. Let me turn on each plugin one by one so you can see the change in sound it's making. So it starts like this. Then we add an OTT on this setting and it goes to this. Not much has changed yet. We add another OTT. Sounds like that. Now we add a Camel Crusher on the British Clean setting and it sounds like this. Next we add a tiny bit of reverb with Valhalla Room and it sounds like this. And then next we add Trash 2 
and this is going to be on the multiband setting and the second table here band two is on cheap digital and retro and pushed up a little bit and then the third one is on cracked actress and pushed up a little bit and it sounds like this and then we have another eq just taking out some harsh frequencies and boosting a little bit and then we have a multiband compressor boosting some elements even more and then finally we have an eq just taking out the low end so we can put our sub underneath and we also have the channel sending to the reverb channel here which is just adding it even more depth but it doesn't do that much on this particular circumstance so hopefully that gives you an idea of the sort of level you need to go into sound design to make these crazy basses there's a lot of experimentation a lot of trial and error but with enough effort you'll get something that sounds really cool if you're enjoying the video so far please smash that like button it really helps the algorithm reach more producers like you and then we can get more and more people producing really awesome music now let's have a look at the intro there's three main parts to the intro there's the instruments there's the vocal and there's the effects so there's two stages to the instruments there's the intro then there's the breakdown slash build up so there's only three things happening in the intro there's this arp that me and my friend made together but it was using some crazy plugins that kind of crashed my computer so i had to export it as a sample and it's just basically a arp slash pluck that has a load of automation on it and it's gradually getting like more reverbed more delayed as it goes on and this is what it sounds like So you can make something similar by finding a really cool pluck sample and then putting like a pad underneath it. And then you just want to automate, delay, reverb, distortion, just try out loads of different things until you get something that sounds really, really wide and thick. And then I also have this sample underneath, which is just like a effects ambient sound. And then on top of this, I have this. It's just adding to the layers and the depth. And then we've got some of those filtering in with the automation down here. And then on top of that, we also have a vocal atmosphere to give it even more depth. And then we also have some white noise going on down here. And altogether, it just sounds really atmospheric. And then as it's like gradually building up, it leads into a nice transition phase where the vocals can come in and like a, a re-space can come in like I have in this scenario. And to get that transition, I just have like a riser and then I have a load of down filters, impacts, and then it will transition. So you can hear this here. And then I've got all this automation as well. So it's really simple. I've gone for E minor, then I just created this two note respace rhythm to kind of match the drop style as well. And it's also automated down here. And then on top of that, I found this vocal. So Floden did a vocal sample pack. If you just Google Floden sample pack, I'm sure you'll find it. It's really helpful for just like working with vocals that just sound amazing no matter what you use them on basically so if you're just starting out in music i recommend getting a few of the samples from that pack and just trying it with your track because it really helps to like understand how vocals work because it can make your track sound good so it sounds something like this tell me what i want big four five in the palm kill us on brixton man out of west east man out of nartinia tell me what i want in ya. big four five in the palm in ya. and then it basically just repeats itself with the vocals going over until we get to the build-up where i've got this really cool effects tell me what i want big four five in the palm in ya. and it sounds really cool all together with everything tell me what i want big four five in the palm in ya. tell me what and the drums are doing exactly the same pattern here in the build-up i just have them automating in slowly which is a really cool way to bring in drums sometimes if you don't want like a crazy build up. It just smoothly transitions into the drop. So that is the track complete. Let's play it to hear what it sounds like.
Tell me what I want. Big four five in the palm. Kill us from Brixton, man out of West East, man out of North in ya. Tell me what I want in ya. Big four five in the palm in ya. Kill us from Brixton, man out of West East, man out of North in ya. Tell me what I want. Big four five in the palm. Tell me what I want. Big four five in the palm in ya. Tell me what I want. Big four five in the palm. Tell me what I want. Big four five in the palm in ya. Tell me what I want. 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 Big four five in the palm. Tell me what I want. 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 Big four five in the palm. Tell me what I want. 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 Big four five in the palm. Tell me what I want. 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 Big four five in the palm. Tell me what I want. So you'll see here that there's loads of effects as well in the drop, just keeping it interesting. So there's like one shots and like these air raid sounds and all sorts and down filters and uprisers just to keep it interesting, keep the track moving. So please make sure to add lots of them as well. Thank you all for watching. Now, if you have any video suggestions, please drop them down below and I'll more than likely make a video on it. I'll see you all in the next one.